Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the book. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah! <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. Supreme Court on the road, the bitches. Woo! No, we're taking the Queen Supreme Court on the road, on the road bitch. Woo! Our very first stop will be Orlando, Florida, October the 15th, bitch, at Southern Nights Club, honey. Bitch, doors open at 8 o'clock. Hold on, tell them who else is going to be there. My judges for October 15th are Funky Dineva Ross. Woo! And my Haitian sister, sister, Miss Jessie Wu. Yeah. Tickets will be on sale tomorrow. 
So please, if you're in the Orlando area, please come out and make sure that Monday, October 15th, you come party with the girls at the Queen Supreme Court live in Orlando, Florida. Now do me a favor before we go on. This dyke here in my eye. Just fix okay, it. Okay. <laughs> See, you can tell I'm a dyke for real because I don't even know how to do my hair. Oh, listen. <laughs> got these words. Okay, there we go. Listen. All right. Now, now I'm looking pretty again. Now, October 22nd, which is my birthday, the Queen Supreme Court will be loud, live, and in color in Baltimore, Maryland. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Lonnie B as my guest judge. Lonnie B. And Christy McDaniel. I love both of them. Yeah, now, I don't team. know, are you going to be doing something, child? We got to see, because you be so busy, I mean, girl, you know, you rich white I mean, fish. I might be available. You, know. you got some budget money? Listen, some, my, listen, listen, my money ain't long as it used to be, oh, bitch. You know, oh, I'm getting oh, broke. I mean, they say I'm getting broke down here paying people in the basement. Yeah, right, girl. Well, I mean, girl, you know, I'm getting as long broke, as you can get, piece of little, get a little piece of flight, a little piece of days in, I might be fine. I ain't paying Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what made tonight all possible is, oh, my God, the, 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 the delicious delicious food done even you put me up on this i did lady. i did so you know my best one of my best friends pretty place introduced me to one of her very good friends and mentors chef holly of phenomenal food chef holly goes up for the girl she goes up for the social media characters and when she called me and said i want to be a sponsor on maddie show how can i do it i said text this number and bitch, <laughs> you gave up my old chat I, I, I know. Gave, I did. I and she texted me with that long ass pretty hair to my hello. I was like, wait a minute, wrong with let me get my voice together. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's show is sponsored by Phenomenal Food by Chef Holly. Please, production, can you run that, that beautiful, beautiful bean footage. Bean footage? Celebrating a party, a wedding, or an event? Well, celebrate your parties and your weddings and your events in class with Phenomenal Food by Chef Holly. So please call Phenomenal Food by Chef Holly at 770-847-0979. Make sure you celebrate your next event, your wedding, your baby shower in class with Phenomenal Food by Chef Holly. Find us on Instagram at Phenomenal Food Catering. Y'all give it up for Chef Holly! Give it up for Chef Holly! Yeah. 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 Nessa, girl, when I tell you we ate so good tonight. Oh, we're going to eat mm -hmm. out on the But, like, I food. question if I can even do what I need to do because I am so full. Well, bitch, you might be full, but I ain't. Okay. okay. Holly, yeah. what did you tell us? What do you have for us tonight? Okay, so tonight what we're going to do is a smoked salmon cone for your appetizer. Okay. And basically that's a hot, fresh smoked salmon. Uh, it's cones that we make with long tongs. Uh, it has onions and um, capers and roasted red peppers and a uh, chipotle uh, cream cheese that goes inside. So just bite into that. It's just going to gush back with all that cream cheese. And all that is, is it going to bust in my mouth? Oh, <laughs> and see, anybody who know me know I go up for Houston's. And when I go to Houston, I always get the smoked salmon. And when Holly came in with this, I was like, oh, my God, Houston's don't have nothing on this lady and this salmon. And a lot of times I don't mess with a lot of people fish because it'd be too fishy, bitch, for me. <laughs> but this was good. I loved it. And I would bite into this now, but a queen ain't trying to mess up her makeup, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ghetto, bitch. I'm going to bite it too. Holly. Yes, ma'am. Please tell us. Mm. This is good. Thank you. I like the capers, the onions. Mm. Thank you. Please tell us, Holly. Mm -hmm. You told me, so. you told Daniva and myself something tonight. You said you want to specialize in the LGBT weddings. Catering LGBT yeah. weddings. Yeah, I want to become Atlanta's premier caterer for LGBT weddings. Um, I already do a good amount now, but I want to get them all. Let me tell y'all something. You ain't got to worry about nobody not wanting to bake you no cake or not wanting to make no food for your reception based on their religious beliefs. Here it is. You've got somebody yes. who is tried and true, who's got years of experience yes. in the game with a resume and a portfolio who's saying, listen, I am an ally of the community, yes. and I am here. She worked with your budget. Now, don't come with her wanting, you know, $50 plates on a $10 per person Please budget. Don't. You know Please what don't. I'm saying? Well, let her know what you could do. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll let you know what she could work. If you know I, what I'm saying? She could work with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's always good to have somebody that's listening to say, hey, I might not be part of the community, but I support the community. Yeah, support and and she realized the gays ain't got kids, and so we got extra money. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch, no, the bitch ain't no. <laughs> 
guys um enjoy this, and our, our next dish is going to come out is going to be a uh, goju jane snapper. A goju jane. Goju jane. Goju jane. You got her from the hair store, girl. A- goju jane. Asian fish. Beijing fish. That's it. So we gonna get her on the next commercial break. Mm-hmm. I might be hungry by then. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, girl, you put that whole thing in there. She got They didn't call you T. S. Madison for nothing. <laughs> Let's get this show started, man. We got a full docket, y'all. Y'all ready for the docket? <laughs> It's now in session. Holly, thanks, man. You Thank you so good. much, Chef Holly. Phenomenal food. Y'all Everybody in the audience, you get some of this food. Girl. And her uh, her social media handle, and at Phenomenal Foods. Catering. At Phenomenal Foods Catering. We'll also have the link and all her social media handles tied to the bottom of this video once we repost it on YouTube and other social media mediums. That name, excuse me, my breath must smell like... They said that about you. <laughs> <laughs> Work ain't honest when it pays the bills, girl. <laughs> Court is now in session. What we got first on the docket, Miss Maddie? Child, first thing we got up on the docket is this white bitch out here crying. Well, please roll that footage production. This white one, all of them. Please, some guy in a car, and now he's videotaping me. Because this because is he unlawful. Me. Ma'am, ma'am, he's running me over. No, ma'am. I'm not. How so? You are going, you're hurting me! How? You just ran over, ma'am, please hurry! He just ran over and he's still moving! Please, ma'am, please hurry! I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of stop! Hurry! 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 Ma'am! He ran over me! He ran over me! She's saying I ran over her. I have the whole thing on recording. <laughs> Sir, come on. No, you're good. Hey, the- this is unbelievable, man. You're good. We just heard it on the radio. The cops are already coming. Can so I please kinda- go? You can't. The cops are I can. Down. I absolutely can. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you. If you want I to want him for arrested. Him. Him. I want him arrested. I have done no. nothing wrong. I am. I have done nothing wrong. Tell her to move out of the way. Pick up this stick. Okay. Tried to hit my brother's now, car. She is being so rude to us. All I want. Well, typical. Oh, I hate to. I, I hate to be this girl tonight, but I'm in my cup. Listen, we messy tonight. Typical white woman behavior. Okay, but I've got one question first before we deliberate. Was the man in the car black or white? Because that matters. White. Now he sounded like he was. He sounded white, white but you know we're not allowed to say people sound white or black. They say that's ignorant. And what do black <laughs> sound like? So you're not allowed to say it. What does white sound like? Because I use proper English, I sound white. White. So sound, we're not allowed to say that. White kind of sounds like hello. <laughs> Me, Timothy Jenner, white. Now, I, I'm going to start off by saying this. Mm-hmm. Whatever charge we give her, I'm going to reduce it by one. Which situation for here is why? Because he ain't black. I, I, for some reason, I feel oddly satisfied that she's doing it to another white man and that he ain't black, to be quite honest. Don't even, that's racist. So, no, well, I mean, if the shoe fits, I ain't got nothing on. But my thing is... Um, I can't call racism because that man ain't black. So I'm going, I might just let her off on mental illness. That's mental illness. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think it's mental illness. Well, it could be mental That illness. got to be. Cause because this is actually not her first time. We found footage of this same white woman doing this in July, mm-hmm. June or something like that. We found it. Can you roll that well, Can footage? I see? Uh, Let's look, look at the footage. Evidence piece two. Evidence. This stick Brother, tried to hit my brother's car. She is being so rude to us. Both All I want to know is her help name me, and he her boss's name. Oh, bull crap. I have a dash cam. 
Yes. I have a dash cam. Get him out of here, Trevor. Get him out I of here. I want your boss's name. That's all I'm asking the for. Can I get your here. boss's name? Can I get your boss? Hey, don't park on the grass. Sir, you get cannot park here. on the grass. Get him out of here. 4046. I'm How come they're still on the grass? Get him out of here. This lady is rude. She's got a foul mouth. She used a black racial slur. Judy, stop it. You're on my property now. I just want your name and your boss's name. That's all. Hi, sir. Hi, I'm David. Officer. Fuck it, I got all the evidence I need. The man just said he, he she used black racial slurs right there. This was months ago. We sentencing that bitch to being in front of a car for real. Well, <laughs> wait. I need that bitch wait. ran over 15 times now, right wait. now. I, I'm, I'm willing to reduce the charges if we can get somebody to sign for her and take her to the psychiatric Well, This woman is obviously crazy. She is crazy, but so she... So if we can get somebody to sign for her, can we release her to her family? Okay, I, I, I do believe that one of the jurors in here will sign for her and run her <laughs> over three times before she get down there to the Okay, cycle. so this is what we're going to do. We're going to reduce this charge. We're going to uh, recommend her to psychiatric ward. We're going to recommend that she have to walk from the court over and then whatever happened to her happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, and, and if, any, if any of y'all are here drunk, please, she's on Highway 20. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Moving right along to the next. Now, this your homegirl right here. All right. Next up, we have on the court legend Tamar uh, Tamar Braxton on the Wendy Williams show. Yeah. Ayanna Fitch. By like, Tamar is being charged with. Lying. <laughs> Carrying on. How she did Impersonating a fag. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's called fay. A fay. A fay is a fairy, you know, F E Y. Fay. I don't know nothing about that. I'm old school with fag. <laughs> like fagots. <laughs> <F -E -Y -K. laughs> what else? Hold on. She got a whole bunch of other charges. Well, a horrible been... hairdo. Ooh. Um, worst personality. Knees and ankles the same size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only in love and war. Go ahead. You know, I was so right, so right. Yeah, thought I could turn. That's her first face when she was in the Braxton's in '97 when she had her first face. Thought I could turn emotions on and off, and I was so sure. So sure. I just ain't gonna never be able to keep no friends in this industry, well, bro. <laughs> Dineva, so we watched her on Wendy Williams. Craig, you placed this on the docket. Can you give, uh, you, so obviously you're here in defense or prosecution. Uh, Let us know. Give us, lay the, lay the facts on the line. Neither. I'm just here just as a citizen. That's it. So she, she talked about being in love. She, with a new guy. With a new guy. So she, Tamar's well, here's the thing, though. I didn't even know Tamar was divorced. Neither did I. Now, I didn't know that. And they tell all their other business down to that show on WeTV for $500 an episode. <laughs> I'm not understanding why the hell she didn't tell that her and Teddy Ruxpin was divorced. <laughs> and they say, they say that man is down to the sea of Cedar side of now with uh, the IV bags and all kind of colostomy bags and everything hanging out of him right now. They say Whoa. the man, Vince, girl, they, they, the man done tweeted and said he died to the dying and sick. <laughs> died, they say he died in there sick. And the lady didn't even come see about her. She didn't even come see about her. They say she is tussy rolling all across LA with this man Ooh, from man. Wall Street. Say he an African. See, yeah. Portia, Portia, don't, Shamir don't set him up with these Africans. Cause that music ain't selling this events gonna blackball her ass. So she went and got her one of them old um, scamming ass Africans, cause you know they'll do it. Then let me tell you something. Them, you, you, let me tell you something, baby. You spread it long and there wide with an African, he'll fuck up your mama credit, okay? They, I'm just they, I'm just telling you what them people said. Okay, now I don't make the news, I just report it. That what they said. Then on top of that. After she don't spread it low and lay it wide with that oh. African. Now, I'm not joking about this part. This is why I get serious. Pause. <laughs> she was on Wendy Williams, and she said that she was mad with Iyala because she tried to sexually shame her. Not joking here. Oh, wait, pause, she, she didn't pause, refer to stop. her as Iyala. She, it was Robin. Rob, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda. Rhonda, because that's Rhonda her name. Rhonda. Yonder Red, they call her Rhonda. We call her Ro from round the way. And she was over there with Ro and said Ro was trying to sex shame her. Now, this is why I get serious. Apparently, a family member went on the show and I guess 
revealed to Iyanla that Tamar had experienced some sexual abuse and trauma previously in her childhood. And you know, Iyanla, you be trying to lie, Karen, and Iyanla be like, you act like this because somebody touched you. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. And, 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 and Tamar wasn't ready for all of that. She had not known that them people had not told her business. And see, it was probably <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> Cause Tracy was like, Tracy always got some shit going on. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm laughing at Tracy messy, not that the lady was abused, okay? Because don't nobody deserve to be touched on the uh, all in between their legs and in their butt. Don't nobody deserve that. Nobody. Especially no child, yet alone, not from one side of the family, but from two. She said they touched Ooh. on both sides, the paternal and the maternal. I'm yes. telling you what the lady she said. She did say that. And she said that this was why she walked off of uh Ian LaRonda Rose show because she just didn't appreciate it. And I'm with Tamar. Um, tell me in advance if you're going to tell my business, okay? <laughs> so, but the I gag is, you know, they say that Eon, you really don't fix no lie. Her nephew was here just a bit two weeks ago. And she she told that lady life. Now, you know Nephi life was already kind of tore up a little bit. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And I love my Nephi bitch. Did. You remember when Nephi had went on that first episode of Keisha Cole down to the toll booth? Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> wait! On 400. Let, me, let me tell you one thing about it, baby. Now, when I went to Florida State University and got my degree in economics, some people taught me all about looking for jobs. But I don't know where to begin to get no job in no goddamn toll booth. Girl. Like, right. Right. like, do you stop your car at the thing uh, when you throw in the train? Uh, 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 can a queen get an applica uh, application? Uh, excuse me, for the record, <laughs> I worked at the Florida Toll Booth. Amen. Well, how'd you get how the you job? How you the job? I can't remember. It was so many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but I well, did. Let me ask you this. When you work at the Toll Booth, where do you even park to go to work? <laughs> <laughs> like, <I'm just laughs> this is not about like, my car, <laughs> Nancy. This is about Tamar Braxton. Like, and then how you even get the she from Nigeria? You know what Nigeria is cold for? F with fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miss Evelyn. Say Wanda, Trina, hide your social security number, okay? I'm telling you something, that man gonna lay it low and spread it with uh, Tamar, and y'all credit score gonna be in the damn trenches. Carmax ain't even gonna be able to finance y'all ass when that man finish taking her ass around the world and I, yeah, yeah, okay? But no shade, now. Nah. You know Vince been laying on top of all them years now. She done got hold of that old nasty African Well, listen, here's there. the thing, though. Put that long Zula dick here. Listen, 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 listen to the thing. She talking about he buying and it, ooh, and this, that, and the third. Let me tell you something. Anybody who laid up next to Vince all them damn years, oh. bitch laying next to a goddamn golden retriever, it's fine. Vince is not bad like that. I, li I happen to like heavy guys. Yeah, there's but, a, well, there's a market for everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, she done got the black dude. I'm happy for her with the black dude. She looks happy. She looks good. I really, she looks good. Here's the thing. I always give Tamar a hard time, cause just in my mind I gotta give her a hard time. I just do, cause that's just that's just the Dineva shtick. I'll say this: I love Tamar the artist. I love her musically. I think she deserves everything she's gotten musically. She's deserved it for a long time. She, like Kelly Price, is somebody that I just feel like the general public just never needed to know her personally. I cannot stand. Tamar, the TV personality package, fag hag, I can't stand that person. Nevertheless, what's on the docket is her life being fixed. So they walked off, number one. Uh -huh. So Iyanla didn't fix the life. Number two, on top of not fixing her life, they about to fuck up Tracy life because they didn't do the show. And Tracy said, well, bitch, Tony never took me on the road to say, y'all got money from seven whole days uh -huh. and nights with I chew. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then when they tried to let Tracy come on tour with her, Tracy can't even sing. So she ain't she even sure got can. no way to get no, she sound like a diesel truck. <laughs> okay. So they walked off. I, I honestly, <laughs> truthfully, I am willing to... Allegedly a diesel truck. I am willing. I don't think we got sufficient evidence for any of this stuff with Tamar and Wendy, but I just got a note from the process, from the, 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 the DA's office, and they <laughs> said that they do want to bring her on misdemeanor charges of neglect for leaving Tracy on that show by herself, and she had to go get Fedra. They got Fedra on the Fedra and uh, Flavor Flav on there, and the girl Lunell on there, girl. <laughs> So I think we just gonna bring her on second degree, uh, second degree charges of, of neglect. For me, she free to go. 
Brown. She happy. She in love. Oh, so you okay? So you Tell let her happy. She so you let and her walk. Just, she just exposed that she been sexually abused. But that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That that that's, <laughs> that, that, that I, I hate that that happened. Period. Hard stop. This a new case. So they did neglect. She got molested and neglected. This lady. <laughs> the, the, the two are mutually exclusive. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to let her go on walking from Iyala because Iyala enough to get on anybody damn nerves. <laughs> but we gonna sentence this bitch to six months of keeping her damn mouth closed for neglecting Tracy because I'm tired of you. Oh hold on. With um and we need her within twelve months probation to drop two singles and let us know a release date on a new album because I do love her music. Next case. Right, next case. All right. All right. Next up on the court ledger, we got Janet Jackson and Les. How do you pronounce this? Moons. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, alleged that he blackballed Janet after the Super Bowl, and he's un. He's sh he or she. He. Now he. He's is uninvited to the image because of sexual allegations against him. Me too. So anybody who knows who Les Moons is, he. God don't the, like ugly. Uh, president of. CBS. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, he is Julie Chen's husband. Julie Chen is the on Asian the woman that the sits on the talk. The talk is yeah. the talk. Now, what's significant about this case, and we're going to get into it because it's a case that we got another case. I'm going to bring Julie ass up on charges too. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Julie set her special fried rice eating ass up <laughs> on the talk, talk, talk all kind of shit about Camille Cosby because she stood by her husband. Why you ain't standing by? Why she stood by her husband? Like, hold on, now let me tell you what she did. Mm -hmm. Talked about her, just all kind of despicable this, despicable that, this and the third. Now it's so easy to throw rocks when you think ain't none of the rocks gonna double back into your damn household. Now come to find out when one woman came out about her husband, oh, cause. So we got a whole separate thing. Blackball Janet Jackson. But the biggest thing about this man is he part of this Me Too stuff. The same stuff they did Harvey Weinstein mm -hmm. and Bill Cosby. They don't got his ass too. Yes, they should. Now, Julie Chen ass having to eat rocks, cock, and every damn thing else because she's standing by her husband like Camille Cosby did. And this man got about six, seven, fifty, eleven 11 people came out and said he tried to sexually Me Too them and touch them on the inside part and call their name. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the talk just started for the season. And then Julie was too embarrassed to even bring her ass on there <laughs> because she know what she had to say about Camille Cosby and her, not her husband. Now, they oh, that Oh, the thing. And then let me tell you, them add insult to injury, McGrath Osborne. Kelly. She, Sharon. 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 She was a ride or die, a ride or die fish. When the first lady came out, she got on that show and said, I support my friend and her husband. I know them people, he didn't do it. <laughs> bitch, when the six. She bitch, said a word, bitch. No, oh, no, no, she said a word. When the six bitch came out, she got her ass back on. And I respect the boy. She got back on that show and said, <laughs> Last week, I know I said. <laughs> <laughs> Mama said, I don't know what happened, but after six people, he clearly has a problem. <laughs> and I apologize to whomever else I offended. And I said, I know that's right. Don't you fuck up your check behind this woman. Behind that bitch okay. right there. Because mind you, I watched her on the, the talk. Okay. I watched this clip from the talk where she was where she stated that all that Janet them had to do was apologize. And the very first thing that Janet did was apologize, apologize. after the situation happened. But the crazy part is they had Justin Timberlake back. Right. And wouldn't have Janet. And wouldn't have Janet. And here's the thing, though. <clears throat> Come hell or high water, Janet Carrillo was so tried, true, signed, said, yeah. and delivered by that point, he did not have the ability to blackball anything because the reality of the situation is Janet does TV to accent her real career, which is music. And you over there at CBS playing NCIS and Mama's Family or whatever else the hell y'all playing over there on that channel that don't nobody watch in the damn first place. Bitch, we watch ABC with Real of Fortune and Jeopardy. Come on. We don't watch. Mm -hmm. What come on C What come on CBS? Nothing. Um... Big Brother. Big Brother, is it? Which, right. Star Star don't nobody what? even watch that. And Janet ain't skipping no beat. Janet was over there getting locked in the closet like Anne Frank with that goddamn <laughs> kid. <laughs> over there in Arabia. In Arabia. Pushing out them kids, Arabian kids. The Plaza Principal with all them mummy babies. Janet was on. over there. She Janet wasn't worried about this Baby, man. Baby, Janet was over um, there learning how to fly a car. With that being said, you. I don't know if you finna lean it tonight. But I just, I, you know what? He about to catch all kind of hell from the universe anyway. I don't even want to add to his tribe. I just say we just dismiss the damn case. No, he can't be dismissed. No. We, no, we, we, what we need to do is sentence him to double up on what the universe got for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and we're going to give the wife some, too. Bitch. And we're going to give her some, too, for running her damn mouth. And bitch, listen, if you don't know what them niggas do at night, stop putting your head on the chopper. Let me tell you something. My mama told me one thing. <laughs> it's only say? one thing you got to know about a man. A man will tell you 
anything, okay? But I'm saying that's the mm. only one rule. When you sleep with that rule, a man will never hurt you. A man will tell you anything. And that's what that man told her. Everything, actually. Anything you want me to do, I do it. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> and so man, we need what we need to send us her to. Hell. Ooh, in, in this case. case. In this case. <laughs> oh, right. no, you know what? Uh, we going to call Ice and deport her ass. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna send her ass back to China. No, so actually what we gonna do is we gonna get her back in that Chinese restaurant, bitch, cause I need me some Mugu Kai Paul right now. Ooh, what you just All right. All right, moving right along. Next case that we have up on the court ledge. Oh my God. Now see, these your cousins right here. <laughs> well, first of all, before we even go into this, okay, Daniva, there was something that you posted on your Instagram that I, that I found. Let's go after. Let's you do wanna do this I'm first? Gonna do I'm gonna do this one first. Can we roll the footage? Let's do it, let's do it. Craig, I told you. The ongoing situation looks like the police are here now. People wearing Halloween masks, looting the family dollar here on Greenfield Street. Looks like people are coming out of the back edge, back side right now. All right, they're coming out the back side of the store here. This is 13th and Greenfield. We're going to stay with this situation. <laughs> Items in hand, guys. Hey, you guys, you know you're looting, right? You know you're stealing. <laughs> Sir, you know you're looting, correct? What? You know that you're looting and that's illegal? You can see people coming out right now with items left and right from the store. You, Maddie, you, know, you know you're looting, right? <laughs> Maddie, them your people. Somebody gonna whoop that white bitch ass. <laughs> right out there in the hurricane. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Because see, somebody caseworker gonna see this, and they section they ain't even valid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like stamps about to get took in everything. But you see, my thing is somebody gonna whoop that bitch ass because one thing I've always said, when I worked in retail and stuff like that and in anywhere, I'm not going to sit up here and allow myself to lose my job or my life over some other shit that's federally FDIC. You know, federally insured. Bitch, she all of this. So who in the wrong? The white woman and the people running at the family? All <laughs> of them. First of all, you's a white bitch. You can't be up there. Them, them niggas got the back of the store wide open. Bitch, do you know they would KO your bitch ass? I never seen. You know, here's the thing. And, 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 you know, a lot of people try to call it respectability politics, this, that, and the third. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I tried my hardest to not feel a way and not feel embarrassed when I saw this. But it was just like, when I saw the shit, I was just like, damn, you niggas on the TV. <laughs> like, 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 we up. just can't fucking win for Lou. It, it just, like it just, and here's the thing, right? And, and, and some people came and got me and it was like, you know, Q, you don't understand these people live in an impoverished area. The stove bust wild open in front of them. And I get that, that, that and I do you get go. that poverty, that, greed, that, desperation. That dollar, tr dollar family, family dollar, dollar is right in the heart of the no, project. But here's the funny thing about it. That's where it needs to be because majority of those people probably do not have a vehicle. So you don't shop so at them at all? No, no, I'm not saying that I don't. What I am saying is the store is there because the people need it. And it's just, and I'm not even finna get into, I understand that poverty breeds desperation. But just the optics of it all, this is just one thing, more thing for the mainstream to be like, this why these niggas can't have <laughs> nothing. They tear up their own communities, this, that, and the third, which is true. The stuff being FDIC insured is neither here nor there, and it's mutually exclusive of the fact that this just does not look It does not good. look good, but just even all the reason why I was talking about this shit being FDIC because somebody's going to KO that white bitch out there <laughs> behind <laughs> that motherfucking <laughs> stove talking that fuck you know, shit. And, you know, and, 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 and let me take it a step further. If I live there and the door was, I, like, I ain't going, going in there and get I ain't going to be the one that's going to kick the door open. But I'm going in there and get me some But if that face. hole was already <laughs> open and building 1A and 2C <laughs> don't already ran through it, then I mean. I'm going you know, in there and get me a me piece and, of salt. Me coming out my apartment and going in there and getting a little, getting a little bleach and a little bit of washing powder <laughs> ain't going to, you know. A little bit of bottled like, water. It, right, right. Shit it, 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 it just look But it do bad. look bad. It now, now, Daniva, to 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 piggyback off this, there was something that you posted on your social media that mm -hmm. I that I found interesting. You posted a, you reposted something, and you read the eyes out of this shit. 
Um, you posted something where it said the true meaning of hurricane, uh, which is her, her, her recame, the spirit of the African woman who has been stolen, beaten, raped, murdered, and thrown overboard, the slave ships, and routed to enslaved lands. This is why all hurricanes start at, at the same point of exodus of Africa, the post of the Atlantic slave trade, and hit every stop where slaves were sold, all through the Caribbean and American coast, etc. Now, you posted this, and you read this. Mm -hmm. Now, there are people that believe... Now, I don't know if those black people that were looting that store <laughs> believe that Harry Kane had opened the doors for them to go in there and get their products and shit and things of that nature. I don't know if that was the case. But, I mean, I, I, I believe a little bit somewhat of that. Like, but you read this. Oh, what this, this says. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so here was my standpoint. Um... You know, Dick Gregory had said this in a speech many years ago, and it, it was that he was saying, "Do y'all wonder why hurricanes spawn off the coast of Africa? They follow the slave trade, the slave trade, the Middle Passage. They hit all these Caribbean states because it's the fury of Mother Africa. You know, somehow getting redemption for what was done to us as Black people during the Middle Passage." And so, you know, I like it. It sounds great, this, that, and the third. But the thing in my post read something to the effect of black people, while I love us, we have got to stop spreading and perpetuating ignorance like this. How is Fo that ignorance? Because though? following this logic, okay, slavery lasted 400 years and was abolished for about 100. So that puts us at about 500 years. Mm -hmm. Following this logic, Hurricane started 500 years ago on a planet that Bitch, is multi—that is, that is, that is multi-million years old. We weren't here 500 years ago. But what I'm ago. saying is, it just doesn't make sense. But Daniva, so you mean to tell me you don't have any connection to spirituality? No, you don't Maddie, think I have all the connection to spirituality. Spirituality does not have anything to do with logic, and spirituality cannot trump logic and science. According to this, and this is the part that I hate. People want to cling to this part and completely negate logic and science. Following this logic, hurricane started 500 years ago. That's not true. The planet is millions of years old. You mean to tell me a natural phenomenon started 500 years ago and people are still so hell bent? And I'm going to tell you what also I said in that post. The definition of stupidity is when somebody can hand you the facts. And, and you, you still choose to believe what it is you want to believe. I am all for us adopting folklore, religion, and so on and so forth to make the day easier and to cope. But you cannot go around perpetuating hurricanes started on the coast of Africa because that's where slavery was from. And, uh, then, and then he says, you know why hurricanes don't never make it to Canada because they didn't have slavery. No, hurricanes never made it to Canada because the waters are cooler up there and hurricanes need warm water to breathe. Folks, hurricanes naturally occur because they are to disseminate heat from the Earth's core, the equator, and spread it across the globe. Hurricanes do not exist in Canada because warm waters are not near Canada. Hurricanes do not make landfall anywhere else because they die on landfall. These Caribbean islands sit dead smack in the middle of warm water, and that is why hurricanes beat down on them. And for the sake of argument, okay, let's just say Mother Hurricane is paying <laughs> retribution for the slave trade. Well, then why in the hell in 2018 is she still beating the country where African slaves now live? Descendants of African slaves now live there. Mother Hurricane is eating up the wrong damn people. She's sending category fives and if this is so true, it would seem to me, why didn't Mother Hurricane come eat up these countries, let's just say, a hundred years into slavery? Let's just say 249 years into slavery. Why did Mother Hurricane wait 500 years after <laughs> to start sending category? It just doesn't make sense. Because then do she, me a favor and don't try to make it make sense. Next case. <laughs> because because she, she knew that John you know, Trump and his rhetoric was going to be in office. Well, but, so but what they got to do with the Caribbean? She's sitting in the Puerto Rico. The man and she said, also knew that them people over there in the projects needed to go in there and get them bottled waters out of their family yeah. dollar, bitch. So she had to open you up the know, so You know, my whole thing is I'm one of those people who are super critical of religion, so on and so forth. And I'm not saying it's bad, and I am not telling you not to believe. But in 2018, there just has to be an intersection between religion and logic. And if it makes you a better person, so be it. But we cannot just so blindly believe. And then people was like, 
Ah, uh, it's true. You need to uh, you need to watch Dick Gregory uh -huh. because somehow or another, Dick Gregory is the gospel. <laughs> well, he said that I don't want to get on Dick Gregory. I'm going to do it because they're going to tell me. And Betty Wright said having a piece of man is ha better than having no man at all. So I'm going to take what I got and work with it. Does that make sense? Yes, it do. <laughs> In order to get something, you got to give something. No pain. No gain. Next case. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, next, can you pronounce this for me, um, Daniel? Because you know you're very much more smarter than me, according to the people out there in the land. Is it Botham or Botham? Botham. Botham. Botham Gene. So Botham Jean is the young man that was in Dallas and Whitefish um, walked up in his house, shot up this man. She she had a gun up in her waist and she shot up the place. Why? We don't know. See, it has not figured out. And Mama's story done changed 50, 11 times. It went from the door was unlocked to she thought she was in her house. Now let's just start with that, bitch. Now I know they building all these parties the same. <laughs> all these what? Pod these parties. And I know the rent is sky high with all these parties. <laughs> Work ain't honest and it's barely paying the bills. But bitch, you mean to tell me You don't know your key from smoke. First of all, everybody house got a own unique smell. You know, right. everybody house, you know, got a smell. So okay, you didn't notice the smell. You didn't notice the home furnishes or lack thereof. Like, you just like, so, you, uh, Girl, you didn't make that, that, you didn't that, a this what I need you, you but this, this is what I need you to do. Cause you tried your hardest, right? You know, almost fucked around and pissed me off. You tried your hardest to make this hurricane shit make sense. I mean, but, but, but here's some shit. I'm gonna sit back and shut the entire fuck up. I need you to make this shit make sense, Kellyanne. <laughs> well, what had happened was that I was on a long 37-hour shift, and I had came home, and my contact lens had fell out on the stairway up to uh, my apartment. And when I got to the top of the stairway, I heard loud Tupac music coming <laughs> from the apartment. And Tupac. Tupac. And um, when I put my key in the door, it, it didn't seem to open. So what I did, I knocked three times. And I saw three black fingers come forth and op slide the door open. And I came in with my firearm, and I began to unload. And um, I, it just happened, and I just need to go home. And now, get let me tell you what I think happened. You cannot convince me otherwise that them two didn't have a sexual relationship. Yeah. And yep. they've got statements from people saying they heard her out there bamming on the door, knocking on the door. They got people showing that them doors automatically closed. They say the man was in his drawers. But I'm going to tell you, you know. They said we got the wrong white woman. Yeah. One way or another, God going to deal with her. I want to talk about white supremacy and the white system we operate up under right now. This man is the victim. Yeah. This man done been shot. They killed him dead. Kill him dead. Down to his house. Down to his own house. Why is you searching this man's house? And then they talking about, we found marijuana mm -hmm. in his house. So, like, why are they trying to, <laughs> this man is dead. I wouldn't give a fuck if this man worked for the Medi-E cartel and had 20 pounds of cocaine, heroin, and everything else in the third in his closet. That ain't got nothing to do with the fact that this lady bust up in his house. So then they tried to run this whole compliance thing. He didn't comply. Why the fuck do Am anybody comply, comply in my own shit, house? Bitch. Ooh, it, it, that's so counterintuitive for somebody to be sitting in their house, somebody walk in and say, put your hands up, bitch, why? Right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to make sure that everybody out there in the lands, all across the land is watching. Please answer the door with your gun. Cop. And I'm not trying to be funny, but this for me is further evidence of the fact, and y'all, I love everybody. Lead on white women's alone. Okay, next case. Lead on, uh, <laughs> next case. We don't let people like what they like and love what they Lead love. Lead on alone. We gonna let them Leave them alone. It don't never work out for us. <laughs> OJ, Emmett Till. Next day we have uh, next uh, up on the court. Lamar Odom. I mean, it just don't never work out. Next up on the court. Everything Kim Kardashian done touched on went bad. And she ain't even she ain't even white like this. She white like this. She right. a little bit of white. It just it just. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't need a plate out of it. Anyway, next next case. All right, next up on the court ledger, what is this, Craig? You put this on, I don't know what this is. This is the 911 call the little girl called, and the and the 911 operator was kind of belligerent with the little girl. She was saying her mom had been shot, her father was dead. It's in the audio. Oh, you want to go serious. Okay, This was ahead. in the, you said get in the comments, right? This is in the comments. All right. Roll it, ahead. please. Um.
my mom is in the basement and um, I need emergency and I need hello. Where at? Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where we are. I'll tell you. I need. Let me speak to your mom. No, she's she's almost dead. Mommy, where are we at? Tell me, I got the police on the phone. Tell me. Mommy, she's, she's, she's almost dead, please. Okay, she, you, you, you need to act as your sister. Okay, okay, I know the address now. How what? old is your sister? She's six. Um, I'm, I know the address now. 19380. What is the street? What is wrong with your mom? She got shot. Still breathing. Um, my dad is not. Your dad said, let me speak to your dad. No, he's dead. Let me speak to your dad? No, she said what was wrong. She was. And then she said, let me speak to your daddy. She said he's dead. Yeah, she said my mom got shot. Everybody that got a job don't need to have it. And here's the thing. I got plenty of friends down in Miami-Dade County that work for dispatch. That was not proper protocol on how you was trained. And if anything, she was supposed to be more sensitive in this situation. Well, we situation. sensitive to her, too, Daddy. Let's but, do this quick. Well, bitch, I think she need to get the damn she, the, the man killed the lady and killed himself. But we need to give her the two charges that his ass would have got had he been alive for it. Because that was wrong that she did that child. That's right. That was wrong. Bitch, and then listen. These that was people... wrong, and that child family deserved to be able to sue the dog fuck at the county. It was not, I hope it ain't my county, because we need our tax dollars. <laughs> but whoever county it is, <laughs> that that was sad. It was. That was late. Yeah. Every Bitch, if you know you're not going to do the motherfucking job, bitch. And that was a child. Name. Yeah, but if you know you're not going to do the job, bitch, don't put your name on the motherfucker. But I'm going to tell you something, and, and, and I always joke about this in one of my comedy bits. That's them fucking county workers for your ass. You government workers, I can't stand you, bitch. <laughs> you, ever, you, ever, you, ever lunch, you ever try to go to the DMV? <laughs> the DMV? Okay. And get your shit straight? Uh, uh, it's always a fat bitch with a natural. <laughs> Sit to the front. Goddamn, we it's got DMV people it's watching us right now. Not even there are people that work for the DMV that are watching us. Next case. DMV, post office, clerk of courts. I can't. Uh, bells bond people. Them bells bond people that treat you real bad. Cause they know, bitch, you need them. them Talking to your bed. Bring your two documents. How, how long you been living here? We need a light bill. Oh, this light bill don't match your address. Well, bitch, it's in my baby name. God damn it, bitch. Help a bitch out. You understand, oh, bitch. Hey, your bitch. Your food stamps in your mother's You got baby chest name. stubs. No, bitch, I said dope, but I got cash. What you can do with this, bitch? I ain't got no bank statement. I got a rush car. Hold what you can do with this. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Next up on the court legend, we have George Zip. George Skittlebag Zimmerman. George Zimmerman, you're being charged with just being George's fucking Zimmerman. God damn it. You know, here's one of them things. He's going around uh, signing Skittle bags as if he's a celebrity. Right. You know, it, it, shit like this just oh really gosh. makes me question humanity. Because let's just, for, for the sake of argument, uh -huh. let's just pretend that he was justified in killing Trayvon Martin. That is still no reason for nobody to want your autograph. Right. You took someone's life. And the fact, like, I wish I could say what I really want to say about this man without me getting famous three years from now or somebody finding this video and then snatching all my endorsements <laughs> and then CBS right. drop me right, and all right, the other right. stuff. <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm just going to put it, I can say this without getting in trouble. I'm just mad somebody ain't found his ass in the alley and beat the shit out of him by this point. Like, enough is enough. And I really just feel bad for the family. You know, you are taunting you the just family. Last week, last week you was just cussing, Beyonce, threatening Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And all because what Beyonce is attached to the Trayvon Martin. Well, Jay-Z is an executive producer on, on the, the, the documentary. Power docu -series. You know, and he got just, you know, uh, uh, Trump and the ICE people, the, see, they deporting the wrong folks. They getting these good old folks that, that ain't meaning nobody no harm and just trying to make these is this right here is the people from the shit that whole country that deported. need to go back that's killing and murdering people. These people that Trump lighting everybody up with, that's who we need to be. But listen, of. we let them get in the office. Ladies and gentlemen, it's voting time is coming. It's yes, vastly please. approaching, honey. Get out and vote. And if you are in Florida, please register and vote for Andrew Gillum for mayor. And if you're in Georgia, Stacey Abrams, you guys we've got governor. the opportunity. Governor, 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 I'm sorry. He's mayor currently. 
Little known black history fact, I worked on his vote for city commission campaign when I was in college. He was, when he was running for city commission, he was at FAMU, I was at Florida State. How so I've been doing him for, they didn't pay me nothing. We were student labor. Yeah, just students. We were students. It's the right, okay? <laughs> but nevertheless, he don't scam his way to the damn mayor. Wait a minute. Y'all said the man scammed me. We got to move on. Y'all ain't going to put that ain't folks. the real scam, honey. I, I ain't going to give you the real scam. I tell you that on the after show. Oh. Nevertheless, well, I'm, well, I'll wait till you get in office. Nevertheless, <laughs> Andrew Gillum, Stacey Abrams, and like Issa Rae say, anybody else who black. And when they say, are you, should I vote now, for no them? When they, I'm, 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 when they I'm, say, I'm, should you vote for them just because they black? Absolutely yes, because there's a motherfucker out there not voting for them just ahead. because they what black. What you want to say? What you want to say? That ain't your strong suit. Just cross the line. Because they go on to the sponsor. Uh, to the sponsor. I'll talk about this on the other show. I can be real vicious. But I ain't just voting for you just because you. I'm voting for them. But I ain't gonna just vote for you just because you're I, I, I am. Because there's a motherfucker out okay, there not gonna vote for you. Okay, they, you, you vote for them just because they're black, and then they black ass folks that be homophobic and transphobic That's fine. and I'd all rather, this stuff. I'd rather black you homophobic be... than a white accepting racist. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get away. <laughs> Now what you want to do? <laughs> we're going to tear it up now on the after show. Do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to our next sponsor of the night. Uh, can we uh, show the flyer here? All right, Envy, come on up. Time makeup artist, honey. She beats faces, and these are the things. Envy, thank you for sponsoring our show tonight. Yeah. The one thing about it is that you keep, you keep us here at the Queen Supreme Court looking beautiful and That's gorgeous great. and lovely and stuff like that. Please tell us what you have going on here. Okay, so after uh, becoming your makeup artist, a lot of people get, ask me a lot of details about your makeup and the things that I use and how do I apply it. So um, earlier this year, I started Club NBU. So Club NBU is my online clubhouse where I teach how to do makeup. From brushes to highlighting and contouring to foundation matching, brows, you name it, I teach it. Uh, the website is www.clubnbu.org. That's E-N-V-Y, the letter U. Dot org um, and my Instagram is the wild card with the Y and if you're looking for me you can go on Maddie's page and click my link and the subscription is sixty dollars a month I made it extremely affordable and I'm really doing this like for your supporters because they've been asking for it so I created something I run it I'm the only instructor there are recorded videos and live videos and you get chat time with me as well so I'll give you details about makeup all right all right so y'all give you. a round of applause Oh, so you would do, so you, you want credit cards? 
I'm going to pay you on the credit card. So you would do Tamar's new wedding that's, that might come up. Girl, I got a feeling I'm going to get an email from the Nigerian consulate. They're going to wear me out. Your- <laughs> <laughs> my ass is not going to be allowed in Africa. Nigerian people, this is just comedy. I don't think all y'all still just the ones in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> we was out at the store today. You told me to hide my pocket with that, that Nigerian man walking to the store. We do, we do. We do Nigerian it's weddings. The- Caribbean style weddings, we do. I mean, we, we do any kind of wedding. Mm-hmm. We're booked every, just about every week. And remind me, she's trying to really break into the LGBTQIA really SPRZ market, yes. y'all. But you got to really have am. a little money, though. You got to be one of those girls that, that got y'all credit cards. Because Holly do go juge, honey. Mm-hmm. You might need you in Nigeria credit card. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take it just as long as they don't reverse the charge. Reverse the charge. Associated. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we like, you know, we, like, we do everybody, but we're, I'm really trying to get, I'm trying to become the LGBT, um, you know. And we're going to help you get there. And thank you so much thank for supporting you, us and being Always. an ally of the community. Anytime. I've been knowing Chef we'll Holly for years. To the side the show. Okay. She's always been awesome. And thank you so much for yes. not only feeding us, but giving us some culture. Go Zhu Zhang. Go Zhu Zhang. We go just Zhu got Zhu some Zhu culture. Go, listen, ladies and gentlemen, vote Go Zhu Zhang. And don't forget all things at Phenomenal Foods. Her name is Chef Holly. Phenomenal Food Catering. Phenomenal Food Catering. That's right. I'm All right, right, ladies and gentlemen, the meats and potatoes. Me and Maddie posted on our social media, what do y'all want us to talk about? And the number one thing was what, Maddie? Bitch fucking Cat Williams and Wanda motherfucking Smith. Wanda. The baby, go on and get you something to drink. We finna spend about 15 minutes on, on this, this shit alone, right here alone. Bitch. We make, we money motherfucking close the show out after this. Go bitch. ahead and run that footage production. All right, but we'll talk about it real quick. Now, oh, we you, got it. You they know what's saying? Yeah, go. Go ahead and run it. You yeah. know Wanda from Miami. Chill. Wanda's from yeah, Miami. Wanda, from yeah, Miami. Is, Wanda yeah. one of us. Really? But one yeah, of you. I, you know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like this, not like this. Oh, girl, you oh. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it to them. You like this, girl. You fall up under the T category. I don't know, I'm you know like this. I'm just, you know, I'm... Oh, you put all you said on that. Tea, 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 tea. Missy, bitch, you. Quick to let a dope boy hit you. Okay. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, so Cat Williams says Wanda Smith's husband pulled a gun out on him. Well, that's the the third part. But let's now let's just get let's just let's just move on to what just happened, bitch. First of all, Cat Williams is a hater. Okay, so set the no, story up. Right. Let me say, set the story. First of all, I feel like the people that watch it, I feel like Cat Williams is a hater. Cat Williams hated on Tiffany Haddish. And I feel like you, okay, just because you have accolades and all of the things, because I got accolades and things of that nature in my life, but I'm never going to be feeling some kind of way because God reached down and put somebody ahead of me. Okay. Or maybe maybe in the time that I did my thing, that was the time that I was able to, that was the, the peak at which I was supposed to get in my thing. And all I was supposed to do is continue to work. I don't like the way that Cat Williams sat there Jimmy. and threw Tiffany had okay. this under the bus. So, like, so then we won't have it. Let me set it up so everybody know what we're talking about. Oh, this, child. This story okay, well, go ahead and set it up. So the story's got three parts. The first part is Cat Williams and V103 radio host Wanda Smith mm-hmm. get into a roasting session that she just could not win. During this interview, yeah, that, 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 that's part so A. That, that's part, yeah. We got a piece of that. We're going to roll that. Part B is Cat Williams also goes into a diatribe basically saying how Tiffany Haddish is not worthy of all that she's received at this point. But well, it and, started and, from and that. It, it did, but it's three parts. And basically saying that she got all that she got because she's light-skinned and she's not even light-skinned. Bitch, like. And then part three of the story is the fact that Wanda Smith's husband, La Morris, uh, <laughs> what is his name? L- Lamar. That's the ghetto long dick nigga uh, right here. Did not appreciate it. And she, him and Wanda's sons ran up on Cat with a gun at the comedy club. So we got three parts we're going to address. Wanda and Cat, Cat and Tiffany, Lamoris and Miss Cat. And then there's a piece that, I'm, that I added too because today Frank went on the radio and he and Wanda kind of went back and forth. We got the video for that we too. Because she basically said he allowed it to happen. And I agree with it. her. Okay, okay so let's, let's right, production. Well, let's run this first part. Because production put this up first. So. No, no, no. Calm down. Only one of us has twelve dollars worth of jewelry on. No, no, no. No, no, twelve dollars. No, 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 no. That all is available. If you wanna, if you wanna have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to Sit Go or Quick Come Trip at any cat. point. If you buy cat. two packs of Newport one hundreds, they will give you everything Wanda has on right now for seven. Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip? What did you think about the movie? I I laughed from beginning to end. I felt like I thought it was a great script when mm -hmm. I saw it in 2004.
50 past 46 female Ooh. black comedians that I know personally that I put on tour mm. who have a hard time getting a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A after they headline seven shows at a club for 2500 a week. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. <laughs> I, I slept with this white man and I got a white baby. She had a white husband for the 14 years she been doing comedy. And then all of a sudden, divorced him, then said he abused her, then wrote a book, then said he didn't. <laughs> And then now we're at Brad Pitt. So, hey, you can say whatever you want. Don't nobody <laughs> check for that. Like I said before, we went and even watched any of the footage. I feel like Cat Williams was a hater. Now, here's the thing. Yes, it's one thing to give your opinion about something, but then it's another way to come off as a hater. Because this is not the first time that I have heard Cat Williams dogging Tiffany Haddish out. It's not the very, this is not the first time. And I don't like the fact that he's dogging the lady out like that because the lady, all the lady is doing is getting the blessing that God got for her. That's it. You know, because at the end of the day, we can't help what God got set up for us. And the bitch be sitting over there with their nuts crossed on you because God gave you what he gave you. He giving me what he giving me. You feel me? And I just feel like that he came from a hater's perspective. Yes, he, he has to realize it was hard for him when he was coming that somebody felt that same way about him. And he and he was just in, in his thing saying, God, I mean, in his place, getting what God got for him. I ain't really know too much about Cat Wiz when he started talking about all these accolades here. I didn't know. And, the, and just because I didn't know does not invalidate his accomplishments. But I didn't know he, nothing about him until it was David, that's a boy mm -hmm. from the Friday. Mm -hmm. Don't be sorry, hope, be careful. Mm -hmm. So those are the things where they introduced me to Cat Williams. Now, now Cat Williams fans may know things about him like that or whatever, but I just didn't like the way he dog that he kind of like dog Tiffany like that. It's 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 one thing to be to be opinionated about it, but it's like you really dog that girl. You feel so, me? I am totally in agreement with you. I think that Cat made one of the mistakes that that older people and classic old school always make because a new person comes along receives the same amount of notoriety they have, but did not have to go through the same channels that they went through, they somehow feel like it's not legit. And one thing that I hate about us as black people, as a culture, we wear struggle as a badge of honor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't real if you wasn't poor. You ain't real if you didn't go in and out of smoky That's comedy club everybody like Cardi for $250 of a performance. That's she why everybody like Cardi B. And the thing about it is, the times have changed. Now, he called out all of these people, Lunell, so on and so forth. And here's the reality of the situation. When Lunell them were doing what they were doing in the late 90s, in the early 2000s, they reached the pinnacle for black women in comedy in Hollywood. The bar and the ceiling has been pushed higher in 2018. And unfortunately, y'all hoes is old. You know what I'm saying? It, it, just, it just is what it is. Young kids, millennials are not checking for no 53-year-old comic. <laughs> you cannot tell the jokes that relate to the people who are buying the movie tickets right now. And Tiffany Haddish can. And it doesn't make her any less accomplished or less of a comedian that she did not have so to go you, through the so channels. So basically you agree with me saying no, I, he was a hater. I do feel like he was a hater. And I feel like there's just a lack of understanding. And here's what people need to understand. You're going to pay on the front end or the back end, but you're going to pay. That girl had a very hard life in and out of foster homes, so on and so forth. Maybe God gaslighting her and speeding her to the top was her, his retribution for what she went through early on in her life. Because she didn't have to go through the deaf comedy jam and, and be on the tour bus with y'all going to in and out of comedy clubs for 250 a night don't mean she any more or less legit than anybody else. And my whole thing is you need to tell the Lunells and all the other people of the world, instead of sitting back saying why her, why her, why her, you need to figure out what you can borrow from her or what y'all can do together. That's what I would do. Let me tell you something. Anytime I find a bitch that's doing better than me, I don't hate her. I befriend the bitch. Bitch, what? Because whatever the fuck you got going on and whatever I get in you spread between your too. legs, I need you to let me hold this so I can spread between yeah. mine. Now, that's just how I feel. Yeah. Now let's move on to this Wanda situation. Now, okay? bitch. Now Wanda, now he, now he, he, he bitch, he read Wanda wig back. Bitch. But here's the thing, he did. It was comedy. It was comedy. Now I'm from Miami, John. I'm from Miami, Florida. We call it ranking. I'm the king of a rank, bitch. I will rank you down. That's how I kept motherfuckers from beating me up in school. I got so tired of getting beat up, and I couldn't fight. 
but bitch, I had a vicious mouth. And I got a reputation for being, ooh, don't talk to that skinny gay boy. He'll rank you and make you cry. That was my reputation. But every now and again, it's a bitch that come along who can Jones better than you, and you just have to eat it. Yeah. And the gag is, it ain't like Wanda was poor and defenseless. She was trying to go toe to toe, but she just she could not. Hide. She could she hide. not. And the thing about it is, without her, she could not. <laughs> <laughs> And she was not even. She could not. She could what? She could not. She could what, man? She could not. She could not. And she couldn't <laughs> care. She could not and she couldn't care. The thing about it is, the man was not disrespectful. No. The man was in your on your territory, your playing field. Now this is where I'm gonna get one. I don't even care about the going back and forth with the jokes because you win some and you lose some. Right. People as a whole, and black women. We've got to move away from this. The minute a man make you mad, the first thing you want to do is try his sexuality with a gay slur. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've got to move away know that's from the, that oh, shit. You know, oh, Miss Cat, Miss but Cat. But even so know that's the ultimate. Now, 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 here's the thing that get me. Now, your husband and your son can show up and pull a gun on you for calling this man, you call this man Miss Cat, all he did was allude to the fact that you was fat, in a, <laughs> which we obviously could see. We he said you that. big on radio. He told that woman, you big on radio. And he told that woman, one, uh, both of us talking with only one eye hair moving, with your headphones and your wig come together. Man. Then told that woman, this is part of the thing that got her. Said everything she got on was twelve dollars worth of jewelry, and it come from any sitco with a pack of Newport one hundreds. Bitch, I died. If I was one, I'd have just went to the bathroom. I'd have just been like, you got it. I'd have been like, ooh, bitch, I got a few. You got it. You know what I'm saying? And it was a friendly key key. And she kept, you know, Miss Caddy. You you got on old clothes, and you from she just could not hang. And I'm just not understanding where her husband gets off trying to check cat. Cat didn't call her no bitch. Nope. Cat did not he didn't uh, say intimidate her. her. He, didn't he didn't say her pussy was stank. He didn't get up in her face. He didn't, he didn't say her, her pussy unsafe. was stank. And your wife started it. And if she didn't start it, she damn sure kept it going. So, you know, Wanda, this is just one of those situations. You just got to take that L. Right. And the thing about it is, if you know that you can't go toe to toe with a comedian, then you keep your motherfucking mouth yeah, closed. Yeah, you don't try just, to read them. You, you be nice. You know? You be like, she tried to read him on his hair and his clothes and like Wanda, no Tina. <laughs> Wanda. Now y'all, everybody like, know that motherfucking guy. When he told that woman, oh, you big on radio. That was like, crazy. and I'm gonna tell you something. It cat made, and I thought I had a quick mouth. He made me, it's two people in life that I look up to with that quick mouth. Miss Sophia McIntosh. Oh bitch, she's nothing to Baby, be she's with. so quick. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Cat was that quick. I did not know Cat was, because I don't like Cat comedy. It's, it's not my brand of comedy. Right. It's a little stupid for me. But he got her. Yeah, he did. He did. And she couldn't handle it. And she this got her. Now, here's the other thing I want to talk about. I think her and her husband need to be brought up on charges of child endangerment. Because mm -hmm. you took your kids to that club about some bullshit, and if somebody would have shot one of their asses, you'd have been, oh, my baby, he was a good kid. Yep. Da -da -da -da. Hey, first of all, you had no business including your kids and no grown and no bullshit. Shit. First of all. Second of all, what kind of example is you saying that we got to move away from this shit, black people, when somebody say something to you and you ready to lay your life on the line because of words? In 2018, you cannot I'm running guilty. up. You got, you got to cut that shit out, Maddie. I'm guilty, you, bitch. Folks out here, it's crazy. I pistol whoop you. You know what I'm saying? You cannot yeah. run up. Bitch, I people. pistol whoop you, bitch. I'm guilty. I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody, I'm if Cat would have had a crew with him, and they would have beat the dog shit out of her kid and left their ass paralyzed, what would her ass be on V103 saying? Oh, I wish my baby was here. He could call me fat all he wants. You see what I'm saying? You got to weigh the pros and cons, and yeah, it just right. wasn't worth it. Your husband was dead as wrong, and you get a double L for sending your husband to fight some shit that you started. You shouldn't have started with that man, and when you saw it going that way, you should have carried your big fat ass to the break room and got a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that's what the fuck you should have did. <laughs> All now, right. Let me shut up for that lady trying to send her husband around right here to shoot us. <laughs> Bitch, well, I shoot back, though. I'm like, I'm like them. I shoot back. I shoot first, actually. Now, I will say this. You told us we got a clip of her and Frank. Going now, back and now, anybody she should have been mad with, it should have been Frank. Because here's the thing. We are a team. We co-workers. You see I'm uncomfortable. Frank, it's the Frank and Wanda show. You at the control board. 
take us to commercial break. Like, Frank, he roasted me. Play a Pepsi commercial. I mean, girl, play a play a K and K men's with commercial. So tell us, get some concert tickets and let's show. You know what I'm saying? That shit was too good to let it go. Play the old school slow jam throwback. I mean, Frank was hit the button because the shit was funny. Frank was too busy. And laughing. on top of that, she did not come off to me in any danger because she was trying to go toe to toe. That man told that woman she big on radio. I still have yet to process what that means. Or that what means her like. ass big over there at the booth, bitch. On radio. You see how big one day is over there told her, you might not want to talk about sizes. I said, ooh. Man, he let her have he it. He did. But Wanda missed Where was Miss Sophia in this? I was she wondering the same that she wasn't there. They done gave Sophia back her job? I don't, I don't know. No, no, no. no. Sophia back at work. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I feel like Wanda had something. To... Anyway, let's move Both on because I don't know. Did. You want to play this? Let's play this. Let's I want to see what her Frank had going on. Yeah, play this. I get that. And, that, and that's a great point. That, yeah, so I didn't point. I didn't know any better. But So now that it went, it went, do you felt like you should have stopped it? Or do you feel like now that it's out there and this is, well, well, this I, is I, a negative I, thing? I feel, first of all, I don't appreciate people keep saying you should have mm -hmm. stopped it. All right. Because we both have the responsibility to stop it. You have just as much responsibility to mm -hmm. say to go to break than I do. You could have looked at the producer and said, okay, cut it. And he would have cut it. But you didn't do that. Y'all kept going back and forth. So you got just as much power as I do. So I don't want people to listen to the show thinking that I got this magic button that I push. That's not the way this thing works. It, I didn't know. I'm watching two comedians going back and forth. That's what we did. And it was funny. And it was funny. And I think that had it gone the other way, we right. wouldn't be having this conversation right, right now. Right. Had you won right. over Cat Williams, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be sitting here having the conversation. So it's unfair right. to say I should have stopped it just because you lost. That's unfair. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I support God. every single I word, love. every word. And let me backtrack, and I rarely backpedal yeah. and pussy right. pop. I apologize for what I just said to Frank about him should have stopped it because I didn't know she had equal power. Like he told her, instead of trying to talk about that man old soon and calling him little mama, you should have looked your ass over there to the left and said, let's, let's go to commercial break. break. Yeah. And I'm with it. All right, let's she go. She barked up that tree. And that's it. And so I'm going to send this out to a lifetime of embarrassment because that ain't going to <laughs> work. Next case. All right, next <laughs> case. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a part that I didn't really want to get to, but it's on the, on the court ledger. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the transphobic meme that uh, allegedly uh, Cardi B posted on her uh, Facebook page. I'm finna bag out of this because I already last week I had got a hold. Well, I didn't know nothing about it. So you gonna have to pitch it to me. Girl, honey, okay, there was a meme going around with these people. Is that from the Hey Arnold show? The Arnold? Is girl, it? I don't know. This was your story. I don't know. It's a meme that's going around from this. Oh, girl. What is that meme that's going around? That everybody, I've been sitting on Instagram. Everybody posted. Can we get some audience play? Production, can we get some of this stuff from the audience? Can we get some? Okay, okay, well, okay. Well, here we go. What happened? What happened was, okay, so here's Cardi B basically disputing what happened, stating that her... Oh, wait, wait, but she posted a meme that said, I so hope nobody see this video. trend and you leaving my house. Okay, hold on. Okay, do y'all out there in the, in the audience, do y'all know what's really going on? Uh, this I know what's going on. Uh, okay, tell me. How you doing? Uh, oh, no, uh-uh. No, not yet. Uh-uh. I see we did, we, the, the case ain't being tried. What does this mean? What does this the mean? name is from a fake account. So no, it's no, not. A, no, we ain't talking about the bank account. We're talking about the meme. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Can we get some? Can we get our celebrity guests? Can we get our celebrity guests that we have here? Ladies Yo, and gentlemen, we got none other than Miss Candy. Can we get a round of applause? Propose, and yeah. Jennifer Ross, baby, and in the building. Give my girl Candy a round of applause. What you talking about? What, what, what's their new house? The house of which one? The house of Ferocity. House of Ferocity. The house of Ferocity. I ain't like that name, baby. Uh, <laughs> listen, the house of Ferocity. Ferocity. The house of Ferocity has came all the way down here to little old me, T.S. Yes. Bassett, who don't know nobody, Girl. who is definitely friends with all of the girls, honey. Girl, I want to say before you even give us the background, I'm so proud of you, Thank Angelica. You. you know, you and I have had lunch and dinners and, and talks, and, I've, and you've booked me. To... Girl, you were the keynote for my first tech summit. Yeah, yeah, man, and I love you. I'm so proud to see you on Pose. Pose season two is coming. Yes. Now, I will say this, and I'm not going to be shady. At first, 
I didn't find any relativity with me with Pulse when I had made a statement about it, but I, I, I told everybody to support Pulse. But then after I watched the show and got into it, I was like, oh my God, there's so much stuff that that resonates with me and I'm so glad that I, I gave it more of an opportunity and kept watching the show because I, I, I fell away from it because I, it was ballroom you know what I'm saying I'm not, I don't have anything really to do with ballroom I love everybody that's a part of the ballroom scene but that wasn't my story but I'm glad that you guys are out here telling this story to heterosexual people and, and telling and the, telling it to ourselves yeah too. To ourselves. Yeah. you know because the thing is sometimes when we're telling our stories you got these people who don't know our stories telling them so when we can tell our own stories there's a lot more compassion and we can also check ourselves a little bit harder. You That's know? right. And I told you, on my first YouTube video, I open up, I am in tears because I'm 35 years old, and it was the very first time in 35 years that there was a character or characters on TV that I did not have to force myself to relate with. Like, with me, I was always the person I had to force myself, oh, I relate to the skinny, nerdy kid, because that was just as good as I could get. Mm -hmm. That was as close as I could get. Yeah. But mm -hmm. this show actually had characters that represented who I am in and out, and it was just You beautiful. relate to Candy's body issues? And, and all oh, of that. Yeah, listen, I relate to Candy's. <laughs> Sister, where you at? I relate to Candy's body issues, bitch, because yes. y'all know I got all kind of toe-up silicone running all up and through me, oh, and Lord. don't you judge me, you I, bitch. I'm not going to judge me. <laughs> anyway, so Candy, while you're here, my sister, yeah. Angelica Ross, yeah. Can, tell us where did this meme originate? Let me say, I don't. I, I hate getting into stuff, but you know, Billboard, you were listen. Hold on, before Billboard.com. Did you see they then quoted me and put me in? An yeah, because y'all were feuding on Twitter. I wasn't feuding though. All I did was say, listen. I just said she needed to apologize because it's it's. Here's the situation. I cannot imagine Oprah or anybody else finding out that something went down on their platform calling some black people niggas and this, that, and everything else, and her just say, oh, I don't run that page no more. Right. I, I, oh. Right. But what was the meme? Is that from a the show, meme, from the a cartoon? Basically, the meme basically said, I hope no one sees... This tranny leaving put my their house. Own words in it, they edit it. Right. So it says, I hope nobody sees this tranny leaving my house. Now, here's the, the, the gag on that is, it's very interesting that that happened. They said an intern had did it and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But they know one Cardi was just in hot water just a little bit ago for her tranny comment. So for this to happen, I mean, I don't think that she did it, but I do think she needs to take responsibility for her business. Yeah. Yep. And secondly, either one, somebody's trying to get at her and just trying to get her more into trouble, or two, somebody know Offset fucking a tranny. What? Well, uh, what you just said. <laughs> you know. Allegedly! But I, 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 I co-sign Angelica with the professional responsibility because here's the thing. I don't give a damn who did it. It came from your account, which means mm -hmm. it's ultimately you. You have to take ownership. It came it from your account. People. It came from your account. Yeah. You can't send something out to six million and say, my intern did it, my staff did it. That's you. It's Darn you. Eva, it's but, you. Okay, we have to also go. Let, let, before you, before, don't take it off the, I'm off not, the, off I'm the not audience missing. yet. Production. I made a statement before, and I talked about the, the city girls. I said about products of environment. Yeah. We all know that Car yeah, Cardi B is Banshee Fish. We yes. know that. She's Banshee Fish. Yes. And, and, that, and, that, and that helps me understand yeah, I'm why not she giving her a pass, say it, but I'm it doesn't excuse it. It does not. And I'm we not have to her. use this moment to educate her and others that think like her. I get it. Yeah. I get the landscape but I, mean, I, I, created. I, can see, I can see her apologizing, moving forward, from and not doing it again. Yeah. But you know, this is, this is allegedly the second the second. Yeah. Yeah, so we gotta wear her out, so she know not to do it no more. It's like a little toddler, you gotta hit their hand. That's not cool, sis. And no, we're not gonna just let it blow over. It's inappropriate. You can't do that. Your staff can't do that. And even if your staff did do it, that reflects an inadequacy in your in your operation. Why you should not have people who have posting power in your camp that is posting shit like and this. I, and I totally agree with that. You get just like you shouldn't be down there in rented dresses fighting people down to the Harper's <laughs> Bazaar. Oh, uh, I'm not getting on. And that's why e Rihanna, e, 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 uh, Rihanna disinvited your ass to the dance. Because we fall. moved right on to this. Because yes. Cardi, Cardi and Rihanna show this up here in production, and it will go back to the audience. Cardi and Cardi and Rihanna uh, uh, allegedly uh, they got into a cussing match or something like that. Am I am I am I reading this right? According to where? Okay, when it pops up here. It's coming, hold on. According to popular superstars, mm -hmm. 
Uh, it says Cardi yeah, Cardi B and Rihanna get into a cussing match after re bans her from the Diamond Ball. And see, this is what I was talking about in terms of in my video, I said that Cardi and that shit that happened at the Harper's Bazaar, it's not going to stop her success whatsoever. She's a train, she's a money train for the rich white folks. But what it is going to do is alienate her and block her from having access to certain social circles. And that's what this is. Before Cardi did that shit with Nikki, hours prior or the day prior, she was sitting three seats down front row and center New York Fashion Week with Anna Wintour. Okay, Anna Wintour is held as the most powerful woman in America. Correct. You see, that woman says this is it. It travels through the whole U.S., the fashion industry, and makes a billion dollars for any and everybody. Right. Correct. It ain't gonna stop Cardi Shine, because Ratchet like Ratchet. But it is going to, I, I can assure you, she won't be at the Versace Mansion at Anna Wintour's private party. for. We don't know that. She won't but we don't know that. She won't be. We, don't, we, we really don't well, know that. But we're already seeing the fallout. You just got disinvited because people don't want that. And they say, you know what? Nikki know how to act. And I'm not taking sides. It ain't no Nikki or Cardi thing. But based on this situation, and it's all about optics. Nikki could have threw a meatball at her first. <laughs> but the reality of the situation is the footage shows you mm -hmm. with a torn dress and no shoe walking out of a Harper's Bazaar party. That is all that matters. Not, the details not, don't. Not. The details don't. Whether it was justified, it don't. I believe Nikki did everything Cardi said she did. I believe it. I believe Cardi's feelings are valid. I do. But the way she conducted herself, I can't co-sign that. There's a time and a place. And my whole thing is, if you was going to do it, don't do it at the Harper's Bazaar Party. Do it at the Harper's Bazaar Party parking lot. I said, <laughs> that's all I said. That's just all I said. That's all I said, but listen, that's all I said that's last said. week. And they said I was so biased. And it, if that's you going to be a hood it. bitch, if you want to be a hood bitch and own it and on site, like, what happened to waiting for a bitch? The, the same way you wait for a bitch after school, you don't go to her English class and fight her. You waited. You know that bitch walked down 170th Street, so bitch, you waited on 169th for her. Why you didn't just wait for her outside? <laughs> and the thing about it is you got to put your money before your pride. You can't be fu You can't shit. Regulate. So what is we sent to send Cardi B to with this? With well, this I, I mean, I want to send her to a, because uh, she's so young and kitty in the mind. I want to send her to a girl's home. I want to send. I want to send her ass to a damn uh, 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 a camp. I want to send her to one of them camps with the, when they make the kids pick the hay and stuff and do rope scores and stuff. I mean, I just want. There are times that I just want Cardi to to, to just to but, stay but, offline. But here's here's or the, just, if she running her account, just stay offline or just let her say what she say. Let the people say, listen, Cardi, you can't do that. Here, whatever, whatever, whatever. Here's the one thing that I want to do. I actually. I don't want her to have a record, and I'm going to sentence her to the school of hard knocks because here's the thing. She already been through that. But here's that's the thing. But we, here's the thing, though. That's she, why people love her. But here's the thing. She's 24 years old. 25. 25. Okay, and she's 25, uneducated, and a product and a product of her environment. I did you, say you ha that. You have to. Make, well, she's not educated. You, you, she's not. I did you say have that. To okay, make, allegedly. You have to make an allowance for that. <laughs> Where she comes from, acceptable <laughs> conflict resolution is somebody say your mama and you run and punch them in the face. That's what she knows. She does not know any better. It don't make it right. But we have to give her time to fuck up and learn from the error of her ways. But she's had a lot of TV. Okay, let me go. Let's go on. I'm not doing it. All right, next up on the court legend, we got the Basketball Wives reunion. This is your field. Give me some tea. All right, y'all. Uh, Tammy walks off. So, if anybody's seen any of my YouTube reviews, um, you know, we want to sentence Basketball Wives, the franchise, including Shawnee O'Neal, uh, to death. <laughs> it's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> we have officially watched a show run its course. And I think this is the first time in history we have seen a show run its course. They literally had nothing this reunion, they had nothing. They were grasping at straws. Tammy was so over it. Midway through, she was just like, girl, Evelyn, I've been arguing with you for six years. I just don't have no more. <laughs> and mama got up. She was cinched too tight in that shit. She took them damn clothes off. She took her shoes off. They said, Tammy, we got a whole other segment about you and your boyfriend. She said, um, 
I don't even care. <laughs> and I she mean, just got in the car and left. See, and the reason why I'm not really interjecting this because I don't even watch it no yeah, more. It's, it's run its course. I don't watch it no more. It, it's, you know? it, it's, but it has its, it's fans. It, so. it, and it does, but even its fans have grown up because here's the thing. You know, I started out, you know, um, shit, I'm 35 now, so when this shit started, I had to be, what, 27 when Evelyn would jump across tables and throw bottles? It, it's just, it, it's old. And, 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 and the, my closing point. <laughs> These women are now at an age that I vividly remember my parents. <laughs> I just don't remember my mama cutting up like this at 47 years old. Now, my mama was in the room calling her friends all kind of bitches and shit after she hung up the phone. <laughs> that bitch owed me $40. And she know, you know, normal, grown, classy base, classy. But I don't remember my mama coming home with her hair disheveled and her shirt messed up because she don't got in a fight down to the boot level. I'm down to Tucker's on 27th Avenue or at Studio 183, Miami. Bitch, I'm with the Tucker's. Yeah, and Strawberries, bitch, and Chris Styles. Home used to bust it wide open. Wait a minute now. But wait, see, my, mama, my mama was crazy. I don't, I don't, my mama was home by 1130, though. My mama was because she had kids. My mama didn't play that. Uh, she left at nine. It was home by eleven thirty. Uh, Mildred went to get her two free drinks, and she was home by the time that was the charge. That was okay. It. Nevertheless, so speaking of that, like since we're in that same era, let's move on to marriage to medicine. Because I think that all that stuff done ran its course. Like, I don't really want to see Real Housewives of Atlanta no more. I don't. I'm curious to know what they're going to do this season as well. Um, but more pressing news, married to medicine. It seems like everything this season is predominantly going to be centered around Miss Quad Webb Lumsford and the um, dissolution of her you marriage. You mean the lady that used all your slang on, on, on TV, Quad? <laughs> You mean the lady that used all your stuff on Sister Circle? Huh. Ooh. You mean the lady that used all of your slang and she calls herself the dog quad? No. You mean the lady that used all of the slangs and stuff like that from the gays and just, it, it, and, and we think it's us and it's on a t shirt? Ooh. You mean that quad? Okay, come on, let's go ahead and try the case. I mean quad web lunch from Mary to Medicine. That used all of your slangs, not even it, you know. Work ain't on, hey, work ain't on this. But it pays the bills. All man. right, so, so let's go. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to chill up my spine. Uh, nevertheless, you know, this season is really centered around Quad and her marriage, and Quad has had the Married to Medicine platform, the blogosphere, social media, as well as the Sister Circle platform to really tell her side of the story in terms of her divorce. And I guess her husband, Dr. Greg, got tired and he went to the same V103 that Wanda got embarrassed to see. <laughs> That's why the universe let Wanda get embarrassed because she sit up here and create this Messy. atmosphere for mess. Messy. You know, she don't mind when it mess on other folks. Well, let's roll the footage and let's see what happened. She says that she did everything. Well, she wasn't doing anything. I mean, she moved out of the bedroom a few years ago, okay? She never did anything marital. She had severe withdrawal from the marriage as early as 2014, mm -hmm. you know? And so at the end of the day, um, I'm the one. I mean, every time we went to counseling or therapy, I was the one who set it up. And in fact, there were times when she wouldn't even show up for the therapy sessions. So, if, I mean, you know, I sacrificed everything and changed my whole life to support this marriage. You know, before I got married to her, I was working one job and I was working out four times a week. Mm -hmm. Every Friday night, it was the same routine. But I decided that I wanted more for my life. I wanted a family. And, you know, I miss family life. I grew up in a good family. I wanted to make one of my own. Right. And so, you know, someone came along who was stunningly beautiful and Aww. convinced me that they wanted the same thing. And for a while, I think she did try. But it was quickly, quickly diminished. So who he was talking about that was stunningly beautiful? Quiet. <laughs> Now, all that, that's what you got from that? No hairline. Bitch, I ain't no better because what I got from it is she made him fat because he said he was working at four times a week before he met her. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, this is very touchy for me. And um, Go ahead. Let me hear. Well, it, 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 it's just touchy because I'm not, I'm not going to be that girl. Um, you know, though, you know, quite and I, our friendship is not as close. So I, don't, I don't even know if we still have a friendship at this point, and it's, it's not as a result of me as her. Um, <laughs> it, it, it is because I've tried, I've tried, and I tried to get on and call somebody or text somebody, and they don't respond. But so many times before you move the fuck on, um, you know, I, I just hate it for, and we we gonna let this be, um, because it ain't no way around me going into it without just being messy, right? So well, I, I need you to pay that even for all the things. You, okay, next, moving right along. Okay, moving right along. Okay. 
Roseanne is being killed off of her own show as an opioid, as a opioid overdose. And we here at the Queen's Supreme Court want to bid you farewell, bitch. <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. But you know what I'm going to say? That's I all do. we need to give Roseanne. She well, I'm not going to give Roseanne. I'm going to give at least the networks for really addressing this opioid crisis. And I know a lot of people get mad because they say, mm -hmm. you know, when crack was plaguing the black communities, they did nothing. Mm -hmm. They treated us like criminals. Now that white people are going through the same thing, now all of a sudden it's a health crisis. And I totally do agree with people's sentiments. But I will say this, better late than never, and at least it's spreading awareness on the fact that addiction is a health crisis. Hold on, let me say this one last thing. And the message, I, had, I got into a very strong argument with somebody. Black people out there who got family members that's on drugs and crack, stop treating them like they ain't nothing. Yeah, it wasn't a health problem when they smoked it the first time, but it's a health problem now. Nobody consciously chooses to be under a bridge smelling like piss, begging for change. <laughs> nobody wanna nobody wanna live like but that. But this Maddie. really ain't about drugs. This is about Roseanne saying that fuck shit she, she No she did, TV. but but they but they and they got to spread the, awareness. They fuck that shit and they got to put them people back to work that was on that show her. Right. Goodbye Roseanne Goodbye bitch no. Bye Time's up, daughter. Now, girl, they Bye. Uh, Kelly's estranged brother say he sexually abused a 14-year-old cousin. They say he fucking billy goats. They say, listen, they say uh, uh, Kelly don't stuck his dick in everything uh, under the damn sun. What you got to say, man? He don't fuck. You, you mess with R. Kelly. Ooh. Child, listen, I let R. Kelly pee on me, bitch, for the right price. Yeah, but you been peeing on the phone. Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna free. <laughs> what you talking about, bitch? I like on nasty golden shower, bitch, when it's time. Like, like... For you pay or for real, for real? Oh, listen, I don't do nothing for free. No, but I'm saying, like, you, you, you sexually get satisfaction from getting peed on. No, I, I don't. And look, a little pee that got on me in the shower. A little pee? A little pee. I done peed on people, too. <laughs> but I did it, too. I'm a... Oh, I don't even don't act like that, bitch. Yeah, I'm finna do what Wanda should have did. I'm finna go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you where it belong. But just like you ain't explored. See, R. Kelly done, he got long money. He done explored all the sexual gratification in his life. You know what I'm saying? He done been with men, women, and children. You somebody pee on you? It's yeah. On my toes. On my feet. I ain't never let it get all up in here, though. It's on my feet and stuff. On my, in my, on my pelvis area. I like it. It was warm. Oh. And listen, because because I ain't never, I ain't judging out loud. You can't judge me, ho. No, I'm judging you, ho. You can't man. judge me. You can't judge me, ho. You a freak, bitch, but you just got your own ways, and you be your freak. No, I'm classy with mine. You don't Girl, pee please, don't even listen. I, listen, I don't even want to hear you pee. Like I just, I, I don't. <laughs> I like. asked bitch regular day. I call. I got to pee right now. Well, you go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> At but any I mean, rate, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna okay, so uh, let's listen. So, anybody out here in the audience, have y'all ever experienced any golden shower? Fuck no. No, I think oh, you right. Oh, think, oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm in the bag up. I can see by yourself. Anybody in the audience? Don't you move, Scott. <laughs> Who been peed on? I ain't been peed on. I have peed on. There's a difference. Now, I probably could piss on the bitch, too, but bitch, you ain't gonna be on me. <laughs> Listen, it's an even bitch. spot, even spot. No, the fuck it ain't, bitch. Every, every bitch. now and then, you gotta let, let the guys know who's boss. No, bitch, you ain't finna pee on me, you ain't finna pee by me. Right. <laughs> well, you let somebody pee it in you. No, who? Ooh. I know two trades that know you. Who? Scott? <laughs> oh Not me. You know Scott? No, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody, and I don't know nothing but no pee. Matters. <laughs> What I need for R. Kelly brother to do is just go on somewhere. R. Kelly going through Well, here's the thing. R. Kelly going through a whole lot, and he need to figure out why the fuck it is his, all his family telling all well, let's read this. Let's read this. Okay. Uh, what, uh, Kelly's estranged brother, Carrie Killer Kelly, released a response titled, I Confess, where he unloaded even more accusation about his brothers, including claims of deliberately spreading ooh, <laughs> STDs and dating men. Come on now, you know if if you know if it's P going on, it's some type of <laughs> men dating, it's some type of freaky shit going well, listen, on. I don't have an issue with them dating men. Like R. Kelly has, all, well, listen, health and science has already showed us that sexuality is a spectrum, and I am all for people doing all kinds of things. I didn't tell you over the weekend, two weekends ago, I met a couple that's in a triad, and I'm interested. 
A couple. Uh, well, it's three. It's a married couple, <laughs> then they got a boyfriend. They live together. Oh, me and my best friend Jonathan was together. But see this, but we this in, is, and, and, and I'm, and I'm into. I, I'm highly interested. Like I but want see, to this be. I'm in, not in, into. I want to be yeah. in a three-way love affair. But that's your advice. You that's, a, that's your advice. So I get that sexuality can be all over the damn place. Like if, if y'all, if if I'm available at any rate. But you know, and. and uh, you know, this is just too complex. Go on to the next case. Yeah, we got to go. What you want to talk about this on the after show? We'll do a continuous. We'll talk about this on the after show. Because, bitch, I got to get deep into yeah, this. Yeah, because I get away. Because I don't want you to misjudge me. Because it's not no, like. I am not misjudging it's you. It's not like I, I let somebody stand up there and just sit up there. Well, how you let them do it? Girl, we was in the shower, girl. We was kissing. That and, make it better. That make it Girl, first of all, we was fucking. intimate people. First of all, we was fucking real good. I peed, they peed. It happened. So okay, so y'all hoes like that a bacterial so y'all oh, bitch, <laughs> yeah, so y'all hoes that get fucked in y'all ass in this room, bitch, and y'all ain't never peed because the dick was good. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So no. you mean to tell me y'all in here that be getting fucked? Y'all ain't never peed. The dick was hit the spot, and y'all ain't never peed. They no. gotta try me, man. They gotta try me. They most, gotta try me. Most people, <laughs> most people with some decency about themselves pee before they get in the bed and start hunching. Man, y'all hoes. Okay. Like, y'all ain't. It's who the fuck fucking on a full bladder or a full right. stomach? Right. Who does it's that? It's not even my fucking on a full bladder, full stomach. Y'all, Miss Celia, you still a virgin. I must Bitch, be. you ain't been hit right. Bro, I don't want to. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like. I mean, I done been hit from the back but or from Maddie, the side, Maddie, and I been laying but there. But you been hit commercially and recreationally. Like, I, 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 and that's no shade. Like, yes. I just, you know, you know, classy fish, streetwalker fish. It's just two different kinds. You know? uh, bitch, I done been a streetwalker fish and a, and a classy fish, bitch. I done been both of them. And in both of the times of the profession, you know I, have, I have been... To, Bitch, it's dick good, and I done already came, and I'm still going, and it's still going. I See, that's see. mistake number two. Why is you still going, and you don't <laughs> pay? Oh, you ain't had no good. You listen, and Craig, you shut your motherfucking mouth. That means you ain't got. You ain't. If you ain't been hitting the boy in his booty and he ain't pee, you oh, ain't got Jesus no good dick. Got no. Who, what a top set of, is there any is there any real top set? Everybody in this room don't say Is there any real daddy, tops in the room? You're not finna make nobody get into no piss. Right. Is there any real tops in the room? I don't want my bedroom smelling like your uh, county fair bathroom. Is there no. any real tops in the room? Somebody get because this rest stop smelling ass hot from this up here. Okay. <laughs> because a real top gon' know. If you hitting a motherfucker from the back, even a woman, even when you hitting a woman, like, cause I know y'all wanna act like y'all okay, bisexual. Okay, so straight women oh, no. in here, have y'all ever been fucked until you peed? <laughs> <laughs> nobody is saying yes, like. No, cause nobody ain't, they not free with, they don't wanna tell that truth. Room number, we'll take care of it. No, bitch, you can't have room They don't wanna tell that truth. <laughs> cause there have been, if the dick, if you hit the right spot and you done already nutted. It's an urge to piss, but it ain't, you ain't piss. Oh, bitch, please. That dick ain't good. Uh, ain't none of y'all in here got no good dick. You're on your own with that right. one. Scott, you got the best dick in the house. She spent the last six minutes trying to get somebody to co-sign this bullshit. Right. And like Tina Marie, she out on a limb, okay? <laughs> by herself. <laughs> bitch, I ain't by myself. <laughs> Listen, them undercover freaks in this motherfucker, they just quiet in the bitch. Girl, let's get through these last four no, cases on the dock. You can't bitch, please. please. Right. You ain't got no good that bitch need a deep end. And our next sponsor is DP for, <laughs> bla for, bla for bladder leaks, bitch, right. and oversized panty liners because this bitch right here peeing for no goddamn reason. Uh, somebody put in the comment section, it's called squirting. So you ladies, that's not oh, come, that's yeah. called. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, now y'all want to say, because it's squirting. Oh, man, get, I'm gone now. I'm next crazy. I don't even want to go back and forth with y'all out there. Next case, because see, it's called squirting. Oh, pee and squirting. Oh, squirting is the same motherfucking no, thing not. as R. Kelly. No, it's man. not. Oh, man. man, that's not, and, and we take that back. That's not right. That's wrong science. That's wrong. <laughs> right. Girl, I'm gone. Don't listen to no bitch with no GED. That's wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. That bitch didn't even make it through hell. It's a different thing. Bladder is, is is enough fluid coming from that other than pee. Seven degrees. Squirting is pee, working on my seventh degree. Ooh. Nowhere else seven. is that much fluid coming out of your vagina it's unless it's diseased yeah. or broken. 
Oh, so it's P, right? Okay. okay. Thank you, Mona. Next case. Uh, hold on now. What you do for a living? <laughs> Good, Mona. We ain't finna put my baby Okay. <laughs> Shit about my body from no bitch with no two tone gray wig on. Was twenty five hundred for support, and then she gets four thousand for child care. Her mom actually, and then her mom gets the four thousand. So it's basically sixty five hundred. So sixty five hundred is going to her household. Correct. <laughs> She'd have got enough money, goddamn. So it's <laughs> no money in comparison to what he brings, but it's more than enough money. Right. Now I catch a lot of flack in my videos on my views with women and divorce and child support. And here's the thing, right? Let's just take the child out the picture for two seconds. You would still have to pay for you a place to stay. You would still have to pay for you to eat, and you would still have to pay for you a car. The child money it don't take sixty five hundred a month to take care of no child. Now, some, now some people some people argue that the child should be able to live on the same level at the mama house as they should at the daddy house. Now, I'm not saying that the daddy should be in a mansion in the hills and the mama should be in an apartment on Crenshaw, <laughs> but bitch, I'm not finna sit up and put you in no $8,000 a month, whatever, whatever, and the only thing you did was open your legs and, and say, well, baby. you know what and I'm saying? Like, it's just like, I just... But I just, but like a lot of those... Girls, I think 6500 is isn't, more, it's more than, than enough. enough. It's because that you baby know? is already living a lavish you know? lifestyle, it's, and it's, like, it is. when she get with her daddy, she's gonna tell y'all secret for all you women's out there <laughs> and I'm finna tell my dad mama business when my, my daddy divorced my mama when I was two months old and at that time my daddy was making XYZ and she had him on child support the whole while my daddy child support was $250 my mama said I never took your daddy back for an increase she says you know why because I got more out of him being nice she said anything you, well, ever, you she said anything I ever wanted for you my mom, I used to be like this, Mark, I go to the movies, you better call your daddy, tell him come over here and bring you $7. My daddy would drive 30 minutes from North Miami to Kansas City to bring me $7. But my mama, she'd be short on the bill or something, she call him, my daddy brought it with no problem. You get more out of them working with them than you doing, than working you do. Against working against them, you do. You but do. she probably, he probably may want to still hit that from the back and he probably... You know, he probably long, didn't he? Don't want that. He don't want that. What she won't know, what she won't is Instagram followers in a reality show. That's mm -hmm. what she won't. It's 6500 Let me tell you something. Do you know how many bitches I know who would be happy to get $65 a month <laughs> to help them get a pair of shoes? Do you know how many friends I got right now that's feeding families of four on $65 in food stamps for the month and making it work? Right. It's right. real bitches out there making it work. She can make this work. Come on. Bitch, you are, your case is dismissed over here at the Queen's Supreme Court. Next case. Next case. All right, moving right along to the next case we have. Uh, we have a young guy finds $10,000 and was rewarded 100 Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to tell me he found $10,000. And turned it in. And turned it in. They gave him only $100. Bitch, I wanted to turn Girl, it play in. this for this production. I feel what he did because you know sometimes you want every good deed to come around, but bitch, when they'd have got that bad bag, it would have only had a hundred dollars in there, and I'd have had that ten thousand. Listen, that bitch would have been thankful for her ID. You know, you know, you know when you lose. Let me tell you something. I lost 
the wallet and it came to share a concert at the box. My Why wallet had like $200 in it. Me, I said, bitch, I just want my wallet. Man. I just want my ID. Take the money. And lo and behold, when I found my wallet, it was just the ID. <laughs> that bitch would have got her ID. Here's the first question I got. Okay. <laughs> like, I have never physically held $10,000 right. in cold, hold, cold hard cash in my hand. You never? Not in, not, not in cash. Not I've in. had it in my account before and then check or money or, 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 or cashier's check form. See, Daddy, not this, in this, cash. This lets my me question know. is, why is it in your bag? This lets me know you ain't never been no hoe. No, not at all. I'm classy. Like this and not like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, no. listen, I've held tens, tens of no, thousands of dollars. No, I haven't. Dollars. In my hand. No, because all everything like I do this. is everything I do is legal, and we take legal forms of tender, checks, money order. Listen, or, or, when or, I get when you lay, the, when you the, lay, uh, when the you, electronic deposit. When you laying in my bed and I'm giving you advice on how to go home back home to your wife, you got to run me that bitch. I'll be your therapist. No, I'm but I think about it. You that. It wasn't. Now I can get if this person ran a business and they had it in a little bank bag. My friend Tanya here one time we was at BQ. She had her whole. Days worth of money in the bag and had them drop it down to the floor. We was down there dancing. Somebody turned it in. I get turning it in in the in the bank bag, but why do you have ten thousand? Like real talk. Give me the real world application that somebody's walking around with ten thousand dollars cash in their purse. She just had. Well, this was in Santa Barbara, so they rich. They rich, there. but either she, it was Santa Barbara. I understand, and plus, you know, those madams out there, it's ten thousand dollars for a blowjob. <laughs> next case. All right, next we're gonna move right on to a lady calls out a rapist live during the church. We got two more cases, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, come on. When he raped me in the basement of the MTC. If you're not aware of this, thank you. Yeah, I'll be done in just a minute. I, I will. Thank you. I'd love to talk to you. Okay. Can I talk to you? Absolutely. I'd love to talk to you afterwards. Okay, please. However, it is, it, for the atonement to take place, we have to be accountable for what we do. We don't get to. I'm, I'm, I'm thank you. To you okay? I, but you know what? You're in my personal space. Okay. Excuse please. No, no. I have more to say. My name is You're McKenna Jensen. Me. Okay. I approve this You're message. Share with me. I will. I will share with you. However, share with you it is really me. important. Oh, um, it is really important that you understand. In order to keep our ward safe, in order to keep our church safe, do not call the police. Don't touch me. You're you're assaulting me. In order to keep the church safe, we need to hold sexual predators accountable, whether they are. Whether they are pedophiles or whether they are rapists like Joseph Bishop. And so at the end of that clip, she actually yells out the name of the person in the church who raped her in the basement. Wait, she was raped in the basement? At, at, to the church. Oh, as long as it went to the mansion. It was to, well, to the church. To the chateau. Um, Listen, as long as it went to the chateau, I ain't got nothing. She free to go. I know. It ain't, yeah, I, I, listen, I loved it. Listen. I had a conversation with somebody the other day, and I said, you know what, church people, and y'all know I'm very critical of religion in church, mm -hmm. church people are the only people I know you can look them in the face and say somebody did something, and they just be like, not my pastor. Right. Mm -hmm. You explain to me how the whole news came out that Eddie Long did everything that he did with them boys down to the church, and the following Sunday... 90% of the people were still to the church clapping their hands well, and giving because, them How know, does that happen? Well, it happens like that because when, when they been... How do people selectively just choose to just believe, believe. what they want to believe and, and, and negate what they don't? Well, because they they believe that this is a man of God. And, you know, with anything that got God in it, they're going to just fall back and be like, mm. I loved it. I, lo I think she's free to she, go. She's free to go. Listen, we need to get the police in there and lock that nigga up. I'm sure, I'm sure. He won the nigga. And at the part that they tried to cover it up. Because here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. If at any place on earth you should be able to tell your truth and feel it comfortable, should be a church. it should be the damn church. That's the number one place I should feel most comfortable saying not only did somebody rape me, they did it in this building. There's a leak in, in this whole building, building and, and my ass has got to move. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, speaking of uh, bloody shoes and war raging, Tom Arnold claims that Mark Burnett choked him at an Emmy's party. In this upper echelon place. Child, listen, well, it, ain't, it ain't only the, what, the black girls and rappers down there uh, carrying on at the upper echelon events. Child, they say Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold, is that uh, Tom Arnold plays? That was Roseanne's, Roseanne's former ex husband. husband. Roseanne's yeah. ex husband, right? Yeah. Child, he, that, you talking about big fat Tom Arnold? 
Yeah. Let that little skinny man choke the shit out of him at the Emmys party. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I know he ain't got no balls now. Nah. <laughs> you let that little skinny man choke the shit out of you over there at the Emmys party and you ain't knock the shit. Not even if I reach over here and start choking you right now, you're gonna knock the shit out of me, ain't you? On live television. Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna stick you in your eye with one of these. <laughs> right! <laughs> so, is that the proper place that, that, that he should have, or should he? Well, the backstory is Mark Burnett is a producer, television producer. Very big he, one. He produced, um, what was Trump show? Apprentice. The Apprentice. Oh, dear God. So, remember, there's all this talk of this audio of Trump saying certain things, uh-huh. and Tom Arnold has been trying to get. Trump to release these tapes. So he runs into Mark Barnett and they get into the squabble. So he describes it in this video. Play the footage. Yeah. Bitch, I wish I was there. I'd have watched him choke. Maddie, I'm so not interested. I'm just not interested. I guess, well, that just goes to show white people carry on their upper echelon. Their places too. too. So Cardi B, you free to go. <laughs> all right. All right. Before we get out of here, y'all. All right, the last thing that we got before we go up here for the... For the what the fuck is One gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, one gotta go. We down to the one gotta go tonight. Who the first one? Who is these people? I don't even right know. Right there, who that? That's Omarion. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Let okay. me get right this shit real fast. Trey Songz. <laughs> In August, August I seen it. It. Okay, I don't even listen to none of their music, so I already know who gotta go. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, Trey Songz. 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 Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, my God.